Hi, I'm Simon from Red Ferret and before we start this video, I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on the latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with this video. So in front of me, you'll see something that has been released today. This is the Yeti Nano and a uh, big shout out to Blue and Julia for sending this out because this is a new blue microphone that as I have already said, been released today. It's a premium USB for recording and streaming microphone. And as you can see, it looks a lot like the uh, regular Blue Yeti, the big one. And we're going to compare these design wise to see what differences are. But on this Yeti Nano, we can already see that it has cardioid and omnidirectional functions. So uh, cardioid is of course the regular pattern. So uh, the front pattern, which is used for podcasts, game streaming, Skype or vocals and voice overs and then omnidirectional is from all the sides conference calls field, reco field recordings events or multiple vocalists and then you have some information about yeti nano so it has no latency headphone output perfect for podcasting youtube streaming all that stuff standard threading so you can mount this to a, a boom pole for example the one from blue over here plug and play mac and pc compatible of course and it supports up to 48 kilohertz or 24 bits sample rates which are uh, the best once the best audio quality possible all right so i have the shadow gray and i have to say i saw the colors from these yeti nanos and they just look amazing really uh, check them out so as usual very nice packaging from blue and something new this time is the blue sherpa um, it's a companion app for your microphone so the features are latest firmware updates downloaded directly to your yeti nano customizer mix settings from gain to polar settings and more to come so it's a new companion app which i'm going to check out as well with this yeti nano to see how good it actually is then we have x split and over stream codes for i think three months uh, trial and then some other advertisings but here is the microphone itself and it just looks gorgeous as you can see it, it really looks again some kind of retro style in my opinion you have the uh, thread to uh, mount it anywhere you'd like so it's a regular micro usb cable no usb c yet uh, but i don't think they'll change that because other microphones also have usb uh, uh, micro usb so yeah you can change the pattern with this button so you can go from uh, cardioid to omnidirectional as you can see you have that very cool gray design anti-slip pad on the bottom and it, it, it just looks awesome you have the volume knob over here if you press it you mute it and you can change it uh, like this. This is of course the front uh, to use the microphone. Right now, I'm using uh, the Blue Spark SL, which came in a beautiful wooden box. Very professional microphone. I'm going to change this one um, so you can hear how good it actually sounds. So I'm going to change in one, two, three, now. Right, so as you can see, I have now connected this microphone to my PC and you can see the Sherpa app a little bit over here. So I've put it on 60, the uh, microphone gain, I think it's a bit too li la loud if I look at my audio levels in Audacity because weird thing is you can't record with Sherpa app. I assumed that I could record with the Sherpa app, I can't. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm assuming you can't. It does the updates, you can put every setting on here, uh, you can choose the uh, format and all that stuff, but I guess you still have to record in Audacity. So as you can see, uh, you can see the Audacity, um, the peaks over here, but if I change this over here, I can lower this volume and it will change in Audacity as well. So you probably don't hear me that well right now or a bit less loud at least. So I'm going to put it on uh, 50 for example. And I think 50 should do the trick for me. Maybe it's a little bit too silent as well. So let's put it on 55, for example, just to be on a uh, normal number. And I think that should do the, the trick. If I look at the uh, sound waves, that's okay. So overall, the look of this microphone, it looks gorgeous it's a small yeti microphone i'm going to uh, get a yeti so this is the regular blue yeti the big one the most popular microphone for youtubing and doing all kinds of stuff 
And then this is the new uh, Yeti Nano. It, as you can see, it's very much smaller than the big uh, Yeti, but it looks, in my opinion, it looks even better because you have that small hole over here for your cable, as you can see. And it just looks nice. You have that uh, green color uh, to see if uh, you have sound. So if it's not muted, unmuted at least. And that complete metal finish looks very nice but of course the main concern is if this actually sounds good because this is around 80 90 dollars if i'm not mistaken the price of this microphone which is fantastic that's a very good price for a microphone right now and it's a blue microphone so you can expect something from it in my opinion so let's hear the white noise I don't think there is any, any white noise actually, that's pretty important for a microphone, for me at least. And then you hear that there is a lot of bass in my voice and that my voice is actually very clear with this microphone. Of course, it takes some time to get it right with the volumes and all that stuff and the gain levels. After some tweaking and all that stuff in the Sherpa app and in Audacity, I think you can get it perfectly. Of course, right now it's not perfect for me because it's the first time I'm, I'm using this, but I'm guessing it's pretty good uh, seeing the audio levels, the wave levels over there. So yeah, overall, would I recommend this microphone? I always say it with blue products these are the best microphone products out there. If you're still looking for a good microphone, you really won't get a bad microphone if you buy a blue microphone. There are so many different microphones from blue. I have the blue uh, Ice Snowball or something over there. The blue Yeti, which I have two times. The blue Spark SL over here. And now the blue Yeti Nano. They're just all very good. There is a little bit more quality and the more pricier microphones like the Blue Spark SL gets a bit more bass in your voice. The regular Yeti is overall a fantastic microphone. It, it it, it's for a reason that it's still one of the best selling microphones. It has been out for so many years and it's still one of the best selling microphones. So that that's for a big reason, of course. And then the Blue Yeti Nano is actually the smaller brother of this one. Also has very clear sound. And for that price, you really can't go wrong with this microphone. So I, I would say if you're looking for a first microphone, maybe a microphone for on the road, because this is very, very small, very easy to take with you. Then this is your go-to microphone. This complete clip or from the time I said that I was going to record with this microphone it has been recorded with this microphone so you can listen to it and you can say for yourself if the quality is any good in your opinion because of course it's also personal opinion but overall without getting opinions in there this quality is good you can't get around that the quality is just very good of this microphone but it's a personal opinion if you want a bit more bass if you want a bit less bass if you want to get it a bit more punchy and all that stuff but for me this is the perfect microphone to go on a trip when I have a voiceover when I want to do some streaming for example easy plug and play in your computer and it's done right I would say if you have any questions regarding the blue Yeti Nano the new microphone that has been released today on Tuesday the 28th of August let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very very glad to answer them I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like down below if you didn't leave this like and tell us why so we can improve our videos and I hope I'll see you yes you who's watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen I don't know in our next video bye bye